Hello everyone. This video will show you how to enable the auto enter, also known as the auto carriage return on a Honeywell CT60. One thing to note, you will want to make sure that you're running the latest firmware version in order for this to work properly. And you can find out the firmware version you're running simply by opening up your apps, scrolling down until you find power tools, and then diagnostic information. And you may get a pop-up here allowing permissions or asking you to allow permission. Just go ahead and select allow or OK. And then once we're in sysinfo, you're going to look for a property here called incremental and then the value is the firmware version that you're running. So the reason you would want to set the auto enter auto carriage return is so that you don't have to select enter after each scan to move down to another input field or move to another screen. And so in this case you can see here that we have selected the RF Smart for NetSuite product as an example and my cursor is in the username field and typically on this screen you would manually enter username or password but just for demo purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and scan a barcode into this field. If you notice, you can see that it did populate it, but the cursor is still on this line, and actually in this case, the cursor is before your scan, which is not typically what you wanna see, and this a lot of times is how the devices will come default out of the factory. So ultimately, what we want to happen is you scan a value into this field, and then it drops down to the next field, that way you can just keep scanning. So that's what we're gonna set here. And so to set this suffix, you're gonna open up your apps again and you're going to go to settings and you can see here that they have the settings separated you know in different sections right now I'm looking at wireless and networks so we're going to scroll down until we find Honeywell settings and here it is right here and then in the Honeywell settings we're going to go to scanning internal scanner and default profile in most cases and then we're going to go into data processing settings you can see there's a lot of different properties that we can set. So the two that we're interested in is going to be suffix and wedge as keys. So we'll go into suffix first. And you can see by default it's empty, which means that it is not appending a suffix to the end of your barcode or the end of the serial number that you just scanned. So that's what we want to change. So you're going to want to add a backslash R here. So on the virtual keyboard, come down uh, to the question mark, one, two, three. And you can see that there's a forward slash here. So be careful, this is not the one that you want. That's a common mistake. So you'll actually come down here to see more characters that you can select. And all the way over here is a backslash. So we'll pick that. We're gonna do a lowercase r. So backslash lowercase r is what you want in there. We'll select okay. And then we'll come into the wedge as keys. And by default, it's usually nine comma 10. What we wanna do is to actually change that to a three comma nine comma 10, and then add a comma 13 at the end. And that should be it. And so now if we go back into Chrome, back to RF Smart for NetSuite, and I'll clear this out of here. Now when I scan, what you'll notice is that it will read in the barcode or read in the serial number, and then it'll drop down automatically to the next field. And it did. And so once again, that's how you set an auto carriage return or auto enter on a Honeywell CT60.